Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Utaware Romono. Prelude to the Fallen. We're climbing ever closer to combat, I can only assume, and some gameplay beyond just the story. Again, I'm not complaining that there's so much story. It's just a little heavy for, like, the upfront part. I would almost rather them kind of sprinkle a few things throughout the opening sequence so you can get into the gameplay a little bit and play and enjoy it. Well, you know, you can keep the, the full story in there, but I, I don't know. It's just, it's always rough for me to go and spend like an hour, hour and a half. I don't know how long it is, but like an hour, an hour and a half to just basically kind of learn the story. At times it's cool. You can just sit back and relax, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, okay, we get to go to one of these various places. So apparently this last one we skip because that's where we're at now. And it looks like we're going to be reading and more storyline for all of these. Like I said, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not complaining. Like I said, it's just it's nice, especially for like a gameplay video or, or like a Let's Play series. You want to see some of the gameplay. It, it is what it is. Anyway, let's get into the story a bit more and see what's going down. D Daddy? Uh, excuse me? Oh, that's right. We're, we're wearing... Her father's clothes. I got you. I got you. Haku. Hmm. Oh, this girl is Aruru. What's wrong? Aruru. Oh, this is your first time meeting Aruru, isn't it, Hako? Yeah. Yeah, totally. This is my younger sister. No. Oh, not him. And apparently she runs off. Oh. Ah, uh, this is bad. I guess she hates me now because of what I did. Huh? Did you say something? No, no, no nothing. Like, girl, I'm sure she was surprised after seeing you in our father's clothes. Wouldn't you just say Aruru or your sister? As opposed to that girl? You know, it's fine. These clothes? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen her father. Our father passed away. Our mother is gone also. Right after she gave birth to Aruru, she... Oh... I didn't know. I'm I'm sorry. Eh, <sighs> it's okay. It happened a long time ago when we were really young. But it kind of startled me, too. S startled? Uh, as soon as you put on those clothes, it struck me that you look a lot like our father from behind. Grandma must have also... Hakuo is our father's name. I see. I'm sorry. I've become so emotional. Anyway, where should we go next? Hmm? Oh, hello, Aruru. And she's going up. Their dad, huh? That's unfortunate. I guess we go to the square. Let's see what's up. Oh, we're back here again. All right, there you go. Thank you for helping me. I, I'm sure I must be heavy. No, no it's, it's it's fine. Despite the smile on her face, I can tell she's trying to catch her breath. My legs aren't quite working yet, so she has to bear most of my weight. I can totally see why she's exhausted. Let's take a break in the shade of that tree. No, uh, it's okay, really. I'm still fat. It doesn't seem that way to me. Oh, I, I know. No, no, I'm I'm sorry. It's just that I'm tired. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't notice. Let's rest by the tree. <laughs> I'm gonna let you down slowly. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, of course. You don't have to stand there. You should sit too, Iruru. Oh, uh, okay. I'll sit down then. <sighs> uh, oh, no. I'm not tired or anything. I, I swear. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Iruru. That's a creepy looking dude. Eh, it's fine. The man talking to Iruru looks shocked as he yells out and drops what he is holding. Is that? No, it can't be. Huh? Who's this? What's with this weird masked guy? Masked guy? Is he talking about me? Oh, Tioro. Iruru, who is he? Oh, uh, wh what do you mean? Don't you remember him from the other day? The other day? Oh, he's the guy who brought the... 
who was brought to the chief's place. I see, so that was you. Hmm, he looks pretty suspicious, though. He's not dangerous, is he? Hey, that's rude to say to someone you've just met. Despite how he looks, he's actually... Uh, well, he's okay. Despite how I look? I'm actually... What? I wonder what she was going to say. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. You just look like someone I knew. I couldn't help but be suspicious. My name's Tioro. What's yours? I'm, uh, Haku. Haku? Oh, Grandma started calling him that. He, he lost his memories because he was injured, so... What? <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Ha, sorry. I'm not laughing at your injuries. I'm surprised that you lost your memories. Because that doesn't happen, eh? Or that does happen, eh? Why would you lie? That's a terrible thing to laugh about, dude. Grandma believes his memories will eventually return. Ah, I see. Haku. Hmm. Hmm? Our names kind of sound alike at the end, huh? Hakuolo and Tiruro. It's almost like we're brothers. You okay, bud? Nice to meet you, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. All right. What? Wh uh, okay. Yeah. No, sure. You can call me Pops like everyone else. It's because I'm strong and dependable, just like your Pops. What are you saying? Everyone calls you that because your face is an old man's. Well, get... Uh, ma? Pops don't lie. That's right. You always look kind of old, even as a kid. <laughs> ah, come on. That's brutally honest and, well, just brutal. Sorry, sorry. My husband is so nosy. Iruru, I can't tell if this man is handsome or not underneath that strange mask. Excuse me? Strange? Hmm. Hey, why don't you introduce us to this strange hunk? Isn't he your husband? Why are you hitting on me? Well, so what? Why is she saying that I'm strange? Um, big sis here's name is... Sopoku. She's Teruro's wife. Hey, hey, couldn't you have introduced me differently? Like what? Are you two related? Uh, oh, no, no, not by blood. We just call uh, anyone older than a sister or brother. We treat everyone like family, after all. I care about Iru and Aruru more than I would a real sister. Why would you care more about them than a real sister? What, what does that mean? What? They never called me brother? Not even once. Oh, come on. You don't, do you even look like a big brother? Eh. And from left, this is Yap. Uhamtam and Tana Kun. Oh boy. I'm so sorry for everyone that has to hear me try to pronounce stuff. Hello. I heard about you. It's a real pleasure to meet you. It's it's a pleasure. Oh, uh, um, the pleasure's all mine. Now you're officially one of us, brother. Uh, all right. I don't have much of a choice. He just started calling me brother out of nowhere. Oh well. By the way, is your house all fixed now? It's going to take a little longer. It suddenly started shaking, and then the house collapsed. Well, that's why I told you to do a better job when you were building it. And then you started goofing off and built it all wonky. She is a horrible wife. What is wrong with her? Ours is the only house that collapsed, you know. Man, just salt in the wound, right? Sorry. <laughs> Look on the bright side. No one got it. I'm just going to keep changing his voice as we go. It's going to be fine. But that was the first time we'd ever experienced such a huge earthquake. Hmm. That happened a few days, a few times when I was uh, younger, but uh, it's rare to see one of those there nowadays. Eru and you and your sister were fine, right? I remember you we both went scavenging for moss and rocks at that time. Yes, the earthquake surprised us, but we were close to the exit, so we managed to get outside quickly. Never mind that, Sopo Sopoku. They're not just moss and rocks. They're vital medicinal ingredients. When you say it like that, it sounds like I was just picking up stuff I found on the ground. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought you liked scavenging for different types of grass and rocks. Your eyes light up. I've never seen you do, do that while doing anything else. Eh. But what's wrong? I've never been self-conscious about that before. As she's talking, Sopoku looks over at me and gives me a knowing smile. Oh, there was a hint of teasing in her voice, too. Hmm? I see. 
Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? I was worried about you being a late bloomer, but I suppose I don't have to worry about that anymore. Excuse me? What's happening? Sopoku? What are they talking about? Is uh, something wrong? You're gonna have a hard time with this one. He seems to be just as dense as mine. Huh? Stop it already! Okay, okay. Jeez. We ought to get started before the sun sets. Alright then, brother. We're gonna have a welcome party for you soon. Hope you're looking forward to that. Pop just wants an excuse to drink. Yeah. True. <laughs> Whoa, what, what does it matter? Jeez, you're hopeless. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's all fine. It's gonna give it a little bit of a hard time. Everyone's so friendly and open-hearted. They all seem like good people. Yes, they're all very nice. Well, that's good. See that? That's encouraging. A little bit of joking, a little bit of teasing, but no backbiting or front biting or side biting. They're just not biting, and that's a good thing. All right, to the field. Clearly, we're gonna battle here, right? Though it did say read again. That is a that is a desolate field. Is this... This used to be a field? Why, why is there danger music? Oh, heck yeah. Were people trying to grow something here? Huh? How did you know? Uh, common sense? It's pretty worn out for the most part. I see signs of the soil being turned over throughout. From the looks of it, it didn't work out. Yes, we attempted to harvest crops multiple times, but our endeavors always failed. No matter how much we watered them, they never grew bigger than tiny sprouts. The soil, there's no doubt. No matter how much water it gets, the soil will always suck it all up. And the soil, or with the soil, with soil this barren, nothing will grow properly. I can sometimes read. So we had to give up, and we just left it like this. I see. It's evident that they tried many times. I'm sure they refused to give up until the very end. But maybe something can be done. Anyway, shall we go? Uh, of course. Won't exactly be repaying my debt, but I'll give it a try. Oh, we didn't get to fight anything? I figured like a monster would jump out and try to eat us or something. No? Alright. I don't know why I'm disappointed in this. It's, it's fine, but it's still a bit weird. Ooh, something smells good. It stirs my empty stomach. Which reminds me, I only had a little porridge last night, and I haven't eaten anything all day. I don't think I need to translate that one. Hey, hey, amazing, isn't it? Dinner is a feast, after all. Aru, please help set everything up. Okay. Ah, uh, Haku, it's time for dinner. Please sit and wait. Uh, oh, thanks. Akualo. I sit down as instructed while Iru and Aru happily set the food on the table. Some kind of steamed potato thing. A bowl of simmered food, fish, yeah. a dumpling, both boiled and pick pickled vegetables. Well, the dishes are a little too simple to call a feast. Their aromas are whetting my appetite. Yay! Hey, 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 you put a lot of work into this. Yes, well, it's to celebrate Haku's recovery. My... Now that everyone's here, let's dig in. Yanau Kami, thank you always for blessing us. Thank you for always blessing us. We give our thanks to the Onkami. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh huh. Yutswalnementia. Yeah, I nailed it. <clears throat> oh, uh, um. Thanks? Thank you for the food. Thank you for the food. Thanks for the food. Rub a dub dub, let's eat us some grub. Is that a turtle shell? You know, it's fine. Alright, let's just take a quick look here. Is that a turtle shell on her ladle? It looks like it. Hmm, this potato like thing. Do you dip this in sauce and eat it with side dishes? Haku, there's more mororo, so please eat your fill. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Nom, 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 nom. So this potato thing is called a murro. I, I don't, it's fine. 
She said last night's porridge was Mororo porridge. Wow, this is delicious. How is it? Oh, it's great. I'm glad. Iru, did you? Yes. Ah, oh, nom, 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 nom. Uh, uh, Aruru, that's enough. If you eat all of that by yourself. But there's more. That's Haku's portion. Aruru, you already ate yours, didn't you? Ah, uh, just one. No. Half? I said no. Mm. Oh, I'm good with what I have. But you must... You're recovering, so you need to eat more. I'm glad you feel that way, but... Mm, uh, really, I already feel full, so... Here, Araru. Don't you want it? Um... Hmm? Oh! Whoosh! Whoa! Yeah, no, no doubt. And she runs away. Wow, she snatches it up, like, or in a split second and runs off. Aru, uh, I'm sorry, th that girl. <laughs> Here, please eat this. No, that's yours, Iru. I really am full. But. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. Hmm? Uh huh. I'm fine, Iru. Please, go ahead. Uh, okay. Huh? I never really understood why that's considered so funny or like awkward or uncomfortable or whatever the case is in like anime and things of that nature like stomach growls and they're like oh god they're so embarrassed like they don't feed themselves they don't eat enough like that's that's kind of a natural reaction if it's a, like a hunger sound like I, I don't really understand why that's just like oh oh my god I can't believe that happened oh ah! like why, why is that a big deal you're hungry it's fine now, my stomach always makes horrible sounds. It is embarrassing because it has nothing to do with actual hunger. It's all about digestion, and it's terrifying. Just just to let you know. Just to, just to quantify it a little bit there. She's staring at us from a hiding place. By the way, what are your plans, Haku? I, uh... Hmm. Like I said earlier, if you have no memories, then you have nowhere to go, no home to return to. Well, thank you for that. That's... Uh, look, I'm grateful for all you've done, really. Uh, are you sure it's okay to take in a stranger like me? Yes, yes. We must help one another in times of trouble. Besides, you aren't fully recovered. Don't be reckless. But don't worry about it. The forest god Yanua Kami blesses us with enough food to survive. Nothing changes if we add a mouth or two to feed. Don't think about it too much. You don't mind, right, girls? Right. Aruru, is this okay with you? Yeah. Mm, good girl. Thank you very much. I won't forget your kindness. It's fine. We must help one another. It's only natural. Is it though? The land in this area isn't what you might call bountiful. If we don't help one another, we wouldn't survive. Ah, yes, yes. I'm the chief of this village, just so you know. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to tell me. It's fair. And what is next on our to-do list? Just wander out at night and look around, I guess. Whew. But who am I, really? I don't know. That's kind of the, the whole mystery we're trying to figure out here. Just a little sleepy. Even if I try to think about stuff, it doesn't matter. Now I'm just tired. As for the future, I'll think about it later. Cool. Hey, there we are. Look at us, just standing there. Alright, I guess we're going to more various things to do stuff. Alright, back to the square we head. Huh? Is that? It's Aru, and I guess she's sleeping, even though she has an eye open. It's fine. Aru is sitting against a tree, dozing off. Z z z z z z z z. 
Well, that girl, how does she run away as soon as she sees my face? Well, like, she doesn't see your face. You have a mask on. I mean, that's kind of the whole point, but it's fine. I thought she hated me at first, but Iru assures me that isn't true. But if she doesn't, then why does she keep running away like that? She's sleeping. Finally. If they're sleeping like this, I might be able to approach her. Why are you trying to approach a young girl sleeping, dude? Quietly, without making a sound. So weird. Twitch? Uh... The moment I lift my foot to step forward, Araru's ears perk up. She's very perceptive. In that case, I need to be even quieter. Yeah, talking's a good good way to be quiet. Quietly. Don't breathe. Eliminate the faintest trace. <gasps> I'm so close to her, I reach out and touch her. I can reach out and touch her. Sorry. Araru looks so peaceful. The way her head is bobbing up and down. Uh, good. She still hasn't noticed me. Her face looks so cute when she's sleeping. She looks so innocent. Seeing her like this is very calm. Okay. While it is a bit creepy, it's probably the least creepy thing that you've said so far. Or done. Though you're still sneaking up on a sleeping girl. It's it's weird. Her sleeping face may have entranced me. Before I knew it, I was patting her on the head. Well, why would you do that, dude? Pat, pat. Mm. Dang, I didn't mean to. How do you not mean to? You know what? It's fine. Huh? Did she really not notice what I just did? Dude, what are you doing? Let's try, the, try it again. Uh-huh. It seems she doesn't mind this. In that case, this time I'll try combing my fingers through her hair. Look, I'm sure it's all innocent, but it just seems weird, man. Quietly, quietly, gently. Mm -hmm. Aru makes the sweetest little sound and then... Angles her head as if she's asking for more. Her happiness seems to be welling up. Well, I suppose if he's treating her like a, an animal, we'll say. You know, like, when my dog's sleeping, I like to reach over and pet her. She makes me smile when I see her sleeping, so I guess it's the same kind of principle, right? Although she's half asleep, this girl is asking me to pamper her, and I'm happy with that. Swoosh, swoosh. Huh? Her tail's... yeah. Uh-huh. Wagging. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's really wagging. It's really whack. I'm a psychic, apparently. Uh, it's whacking in my face. Uh, uh, let me guess. You're gonna sneeze. Well, yep. Expected that face. What? She runs away. At least she didn't claw him in the eyes or anything. Oops. Oh well. Guess it's no use after all, huh? Well, look. If you creeped up on me and you started petting me, and for whatever reason I didn't just like immediately break your arm and kill you. Um, <clears throat> because you know I'm a totally a violent person. Um, and I woke up because he sneezed on me. I'd be a little bit upset too, and you would be a little bit more hurt. I'm just saying, less running, more hurting you. So you're lucky. She's staring at him from a hiding spot. Hey, come over here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Whoop. What does that mean? And I screwed up. You've done literally nothing but screw up with that girl. Well, like I said, very creepy. All right, we're going to the field. Let's see what we're going to do there. Is it more fake battle time or what? All right, let's begin. Ready and... Now lift the hoe and bring it down with immense force. The ground is incredibly tough to dig into. This isn't good. My body still hurts whenever I do anything strenuous. Uh, but compared to before, when I couldn't move at all... As long as I take enough breaks, I should be able to exert myself a little. Ah, uh, my, my back. Eh, did yourself in again, didn't you? I told you to leave it to us. Uh, but I hate sitting around while everyone else is working. Sure, but you'd cause us more problems if you become immobile again. Come on, brother. Sorry. Come on, brother. Just hand over that and uh, tell us what we need to do, okay? Uh... If I dig the dirt up like this, is, is that good enough? N no, you you need to dig deeper. Try clearing as many rocks as you can and break up the hard dirt. Whoa, wait a sec, we gotta do that much? Motoro can grow just by burying it in the ground and giving it water. Maybe elsewhere, but you'll have to make the soil here more hospitable or your crops won't grow. If you just plant it like this, it'll probably start wilting as soon as it sprouts out of the ground. 
I don't really get it, but I guess we oughta, or we just gotta go through it. Jeez, it's easy enough when you say it like that, but it's really hard to do, you know? Well, but I guess this is the ship we're sailing. I'll stick with you to the end. Tio, Ro. It happened just like you said, brother. Huh? Sorry, brother. Huh? The crops would sprout, but then wilt up right away, no matter how many times we tried. All right, break time's over. Come on, just five more minutes. Why y'all? Why are you whining like a spoiled brat? Speaking of wilting, your belly aching's gonna make you wilt between your legs. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Eh, what a tyrant. Hmm. <laughs> um. What's up? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's because of what I said that all this is happening. Why are you apologizing? We're trying to do something about this, too. Nothing for you to worry about. Exactly. Mm. Ta. Oh, yeah, right. That, that's that's right. We, we's got it. Hey. We're Cormans. See you later then, brother. We'll count on you to help us out. Thanks, everyone. That was weird. All right, back to the room of living. And once we're done with this little exchange, I guess we'll break off the the episode again. Sorry, guys, no combat or anything yet. We'll try another episode for tomorrow until we at least get into some of the gameplay so you guys can see what's up. And one of the, I, I guess it's good news if you want to do this, uh, you can go ahead and skip all this if you grab the game for yourself. And just hop right into where the combat begins once I get to that point. If you decide to grab the game for yourselves. Anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Ah. No, Aru ran away again. She ran away after all. Ugh. Was that it? That was it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as previously stated, that is going to do it for this particular episode. We'll continue again tomorrow. Another episode coming out to continue the storyline until at least we get into the combat. Once we get into that, we see how it all plays and we get to enjoy ourselves a little bit. I'll try to keep it going on the regular, but you never know, guys. Stuff just, just chaotic here all the time. So best laid plans oftentimes don't work out, but I will try. I'll make an effort. We'll see. All right, folks, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the game should be out, actually, by the time uh, this video goes live. So if you guys like what you see and you want to hop in and experience the story for yourselves or experience the game for yourselves or whatever the case is, you can go grab it on the PlayStation Store or you can grab the physical copy. I think there's a couple of retailers or you can order it online with the super fancy Ultra Mega Edition of Doom or of Doom, if you prefer, from the NIS America Store. Anyway, folks, till the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by The Freak Show and I will... See you later. <laughs>